Hi, I'm Lawrence Whippler. Uh, in this video, I will explain Ed Lead Scallon's perpetual motion holder uh, in his theory of operation. Uh, but first, you must understand what creates a uh, dipole. In order to have a north and south magnetic pole on any magnet, you must first have a stream of monopoles, a north and south monopole. Your north monopole will travel from the south end up into the north pole. And you also have to have a south monopole, its opposite, that would travel from the north and go into the south pole. So what you have are monopoles with an opposite charge moving opposite each other. Now all your surplus monopoles are going to accumulate on the poles. Here you'd have a surplus amount of south monopoles creating a south magnetic pole. And on the top you'd have its north monopole creating a north magnetic pole. Now what Ed Lee Scallon had done is he actually kind of cut this in half eliminating a dipole and just having the lines of magnetic force actually going this way. So they circulate in one continuous loop. He called this his perpetual motion holder. Now how this was accomplished, we're first going to use a U-shaped bar and we're going to need a coil of wire. What this coil of wire does is create a magnetic field when you run electricity through it. Now all electricity is is separated north and south monopoles. When you recombine them, it's going to recreate a magnetic field. In this case, we'll have a north pole here and a south pole here. In order to get our monopoles together, we are going to have to have a metal bar across the top. Now what's going to happen is this coil is going to set up a magnetic field where your monopoles are going to circulate in this direction. However, we're just only considering using the monopoles that run through the center the core. So what's going to happen is our north or south monopoles are going to leave the north pole, pass through this bar, and go into the south. And our north monopoles are going to come the opposite way into the north pole. Okay. Now when, this, when you do this, uh, make the uh, perpetual motion holder, you are no longer going to have a north and south pole. So there's not going to be a dipole anymore like you would have, say, if this were a horseshoe magnet. Now, once you apply your voltage here, this creates a magnetic field. It starts these monopoles circulating. Remove your electricity you no longer have a dipole here. However, you, you've created a path for these monopoles to move. Now what's going to happen is through the law of attraction, these are going to continue chasing each other around indefinitely. Doing so, it's going to hold this bar across the top as if it were, a, say, a regular dipole or a bar magnet. And that'll continue until you physically remove this bar from the top. Doing so, you're going to disrupt the flow of monopoles here and you'll have to start all over again. That is how Elise Gallon's perpetual motion holder operates. Thanks for watching.